The Indiana State Sycamores were facing a tall task on Saturday night in Bloomington, taller than six foot seven inch James Hardy. and taller than the newest member of the Portland Trailblazers, Terre Haute native Greg Oden. Yes, the Sycamore's opponent last night was larger than life, a man who made IU football seem important again. Terry Hepner, who passed away in June, may not have physically been at last night's game, but spiritually, he was everywhere you looked. I knew what to expect, and personally, once, once that you know, emotional part was over, it was time to play football, and you have to readjust your focus, which we've been working on you know, uh, in lots of different ways. Going out there for the first time without Coach Hep, I mean, it was uh, very emotional. Um, but like I said, he's looking over us. And different guys reacted different ways, and uh, a lot of our team leaders like Hardy, uh, Josiah, uh, Tracy Porter, a lot of those guys, uh, you know, instead of getting down or, or seeming to put their head down and be emotional, they kind of just got more fired up, so it just, it just rallied throughout the whole team. New head coach Bill Lynch led the Hoosiers to a convincing victory in front of 35,000 fans at IU's Memorial Stadium. But afterward, both Lynch and the players were only thinking about what the former coach would have said. With the evening and the tribute to Hep, I mean, nobody liked games and playing games more than Hep. I mean, that was a, a trademark of his that he talked to the kids about all the time. And, and uh, so, yeah, I think it was good that we finally got a chance to go out and play together. He'd be happy. We ran the ball, we scored touchdowns, and we won. You know, he'd, he'd be very happy, and he would have been leading the fight song afterwards. He'd been up in the bleachers. So for IU, game number one is win number one as the Hoosiers try to fulfill Coach Hep's quest to play 13. In Bloomington, I'm Damon Lewis, WTWO Sports.